Okay, so today we're going on a deep dive to Sweden. Sweden. Yeah, yeah. we're going to check out this group called GEG Sweden. Huh, interesting. Yeah, it's a Google educator group. And from what I've seen, it looks like they've got some kind of unique uh, thing going on over there. Oh, really? What have you found? Well, just from like the first glance at their website and their socials, mm -hmm. it seems like they're really into weaving their Swedish culture into like the whole Google educator thing. That's really cool. I mean, using technology and education is a global thing, right? But seeing how different cultures approach it, that's always fascinating. Yeah, exactly. So let's dive into some of the specifics here. Okay, sounds good. Right away on their website, they emphasize this thing called GEG Sweden Larar as like their main communication hub. Larar. Yeah, Larar. Did I say that right? Yeah, you got it. It means teachers in Swedish. Oh, cool. <laughs> so right there, that kind of tells you who they're really focused on, right? Yeah, absolutely. They're making it crystal clear that this is a space for educators, by educators. I mean, that probably means a lot of thought goes into making sure the resources, the discussions, everything is tailored to the needs of Swedish teachers specifically. I see. I see. So they're going beyond just like the general Google tools and really thinking about how Swedish teachers can use them effectively in their classrooms. That's happening. Hmm. Very cool. And then there's all this stuff on the YouTube channel. They have these series called like GEG Edmund -E Fika, GEG Lair Tips. Nah, Fika, love it. Okay, so Fick is more than just coffee break, right? Way more. It's like deeply ingrained in Swedish culture. Like it's a social thing, a time to relax, chat, and yeah, enjoy some coffee and pastries. So are they like having virtual Fika sessions online with these series or what? Well, not literally, but I think by naming their videos that way, they're trying to create that same kind of relaxed, informal learning environment. Oh, that's neat. It's like they're saying, hey, let's take a break, learn some stuff about Google tools, but keep it chill in Swedish. You know exactly exactly they're really leaning into that cultural element i wonder if this focus on fika and making things relaxed if that also kind of influences like how they view technology as a whole hmm you mean like maybe a more human-centered approach to ed tech yeah like maybe they're not just all about like the latest gadgets and gizmos but more about how technology can actually help teachers and students in a like a you know, a more personal way. That's a really interesting thought. It would definitely make sense considering how much emphasis they place on community and this whole FICA culture. And it's not like they're just keeping all these cool ideas to themselves either. Oh, right. They're pretty active on the global ed tech scene. Yeah. They go to the SET conference, which is like a big deal for educational technology. Huge. Like one of the biggest ed tech events out there. So they're not just talking amongst themselves in Sweden. They're out there sharing ideas and learning from other educators worldwide. Networking, presenting, seeing what's new, the whole nine yards. It really shows you they're serious about this stuff. Okay, so we've got this group, strong Swedish cultural influence, super focused on teachers, and involved in the global ed tech community. Pretty impressive, huh? Yeah, definitely. But, like, what's the takeaway for our listeners here? Like, why should they care about what's happening with GAG Sweden? I think the biggest thing is it shows how powerful it can be when you really think about the human element of technology. Like GEG Sweden is showing that tech isn't just about the tools themselves. It's about the people using them, their culture, their needs. Yeah, that's a good point. It's like they're making tech more more human, you know, mm. more about connection and community. Exactly. It's a good reminder for all of us, no matter what we do, to think about how our own backgrounds and values influence the way we use and interact with technology. It really makes you wonder, doesn't it? Like, what if we all took a step back and said, okay, how can my culture, my values, shape how I use tech? Maybe we could come up with some totally new innovations or approaches that we'd never even thought of before. Now, that is a thought-provoking idea. It's something to think about, for sure. All right, well, that wraps up our deep dive into GE Sweden. Thanks for having me. Thanks for joining. Until next time.